guy, Emma Zerkovich Nunez, and the first time that I fell in love with sneakers was when I moved to America at nine years old. I wanted a pair of all white Air Force One low tops so bad. They were sold out everywhere in the Bronx, so I ended up having to get a pair of high tops that I had to wear for a whole year. <laughs> so you know how cooked they look, because <laughs> we were poor, so like it's just like one sneaker the whole year. Hi, my name is Maro Atik, and the first time I fell in love with sneakers was when I joined track and field in high school. My name is Lacey Jordan, and I fell in love with sneakers probably fifth or sixth grade, somewhere in that transition. Um, I'm the youngest girl out of four older brothers, so I kind of just got put on since I could wear the soft bottom Jordan, so. I'm Tamara Dia, and the first time I fell in love with sneakers was when I was in fifth grade, when my cheerleading coach made me go to a sneaker store to buy a new pair of shoes for cheerleading, and I decided to buy a pair of Jordans and told him the next day I was playing basketball instead. Hi, my name is Symphony Soto, and the first time I fell in love with sneakers was when I was 14. Just got into high school, I believe, and my mom bought me my first pair of Air Force Ones, and I was just like, okay, this is lit. <laughs> Hi, my name's Kate Loesch, and the first time I really fell in love with sneakers was 2013 Sneaker Con in New York City. Hi, my name is Denise Jones, and the first time I fell in love with sneakers, love love, because it was like that like level where I thought I really loved them, but love was definitely ninth grade. Uh, I was kind of dating this guy, not so much, and he got me the Kobe 3s. And then after that, I was like, I don't even really have to buy my first pair of sneakers. So it was kind of lit after that. Hi, my name is Rachel Gomez, and the first time I fell in love with sneakers was in the sixth grade. Everyone at this table loves sneakers to some degree. I think we wouldn't be here otherwise. What was the first, first sneaker you really fell in love with? Air Forces because of the song, like yes. yeah. Air Force One, like that, that's how I think I'm like yo, like I did, I didn't realize that that was like kind of a staple, it just for everybody, like yeah, I gotta get Air Forces because of the freaking song, like I gotta come stomping my Air Force Ones, like <laughs> the first sneaker I fell in love with was for me it was the Jordan One. It goes with everything. You could dress it up and dress it down. I didn't really come from a family that I can get a pair of sneakers after every release. So I really had to take care of the sneakers that I had and the Jordan one was that one that just kind of stood out from the rest and lasted in the long run a lot longer than any other shoe that I have. The first sneaker I fell in love with was the Jordan 6 Infrared, oh, yeah. which is crazy because they keep retroing it, but I still love it all the same and I have two pairs and now they're yellow on the bottom. <laughs> but I wear them anyway because you wear your kicks. Did any of you ladies ever feel self-conscious when it came to wearing sneakers? I grew up extremely poor, so like our first sneakers were all Payless shoes. And I remember like one instance, Payless started selling like pulley string um, laces. And I just thought that they were the coolest. So got me the sneakers at Payless, $20, whatever. Popped those little like pulley laces on them. Showed up to the playground the next day. This girl comes up to me and she's like, oh, that's so cool. And then like another girl comes out of nowhere and she's like, literally, I can picture like it's the exact words being like, but what are those though? She said, <gasps> yo, and I, live, and I grew up, I grew up in the Bronx. Like these sneakers are like now like traumatizing me forever. I'm from Alabama, I'm from the South. So women weren't wearing sneakers. And so guys would say like, oh, you know, she's a lesbian. And when you're <laughs> in, in, yeah, grade, in so Alabama, true. I'm like, what's a lesbian? <laughs> like, <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, and so people would just project their opinions yeah. about like your sexuality and like just based off what you wear. And now it's like, oh, she's been wearing them shoes since sixth grade. And I'm like, yeah, when he was picking on me. Where I grew up, you did not have heat on your feet. Like you were gonna get picked on every <laughs> single day. Yeah. Like, so that's really interesting that yeah, it's you crazy. Like, no like, respect. Now, totally different story. Throwing out a softball. Have sneakers ever gotten you in trouble? Sneakers have gotten me in trouble throughout my career in retail. I worked fashion retail for dude, like 12 years strong, and we're working like 10, 11, 12 hour shifts, and you want me in heels? Like, this is wild. So I would take my sneakers with me to work every single day and just throw them on. And I am so accustomed to wearing sneakers that sometimes I would forget to switch out my shoes. And my bosses would walk in, and they'd look at me like, where are your heels? Like, you know, you're violating dress code. When I was wearing my sneakers, I was relating to the people that I worked mm -hmm. with. It's kind of like, why are my sneakers an issue? That's so crazy. Like you would think, like I have the complete opposite. Like if I don't wear sneakers, people are like, "Are you going on a date?" Like, 
I've definitely felt self-conscious. My first job in music, the office environment was the women that wore high heels, got attention, and what are you thinking wearing sneakers into the office? And I'm a tomboy, and I had a pair of retro Jordan 7s, and I was like the flyest girl in there, but you saw the eyes from across the room um, at the board table, and you just kind of wanted to hide your feet under the table. And But I was like, way cooler than everybody <laughs> here. Um, and now that's definitely changing and it's more acceptable to wear streetwear. And like working in the space that I work in too, it's like I get more flack from dudes on social media because I'm always posting in sneakers. And I can't tell you how many guys I've had to block that are just like, why don't you ever wear heels? Like it's not, it, which is weird. And not to say that's any like guys that we know or, or associate with, or even in the sneaker community, like guys within the sneaker community have been nothing but supportive. But just some randos online, like they're very, for some reason, offended by the fact that I prefer to be in sneakers because I don't know why they think it belongs to them. But. Because you have more heat than them. Right, <laughs> right, right. 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 That's That's right. Really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How does wearing your favorite sneaker make you feel? Freaking good. Mm -hmm. I love it. Cool. I feel it makes me feel cool. Yeah. Like and just I can dress it up or dress it down however I want. Like I really am big on not wearing like this is kind of out of context, but I don't like going out to events or going to the club in heels. Like I just won't do it. Mm -hmm. So I'll wear my sneakers. I just feel good. I'm like, yeah, I'm so comfortable. Everybody else is like looking like they want to go home because <laughs> they're sitting in these heels, but I'm just like, oh, I'm feeling good. And I like you. I think it makes me feel like very authentic. Everyone made it clear that they're like tomboys at one point in their yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, same. Wearing heels to an event or like any kind of formal gathering is really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It hurts. My, I'm a silly person. I like to like move a lot yeah, I like and do. To dance, like to dance, yeah. you know, and do a lot of things. <laughs> and with heels, it's 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 a great look. Don't get me wrong. I do love the look, but that's about it. And with sneakers, I can, I don't have to worry about being nervous because it's gonna happen. Right. I don't have to worry about tripping or looking like I can't walk or have a duck step <laughs> or something. Like it's literally just me like this is this is me you take take it right, or leave it this yeah. is literally me I definitely feel with like a sneaker when you guys walk in a sneaker you just feel like a cool girl like you have your own step you have your own rhythm versus like when you're walking in heels you're like trying not to look like a baby gazelle <laughs> and like just like you know what I mean like in the industry that I'm in it's a whole bunch of men and I'm usually like the only woman it's like right. a woman of color I feel like sneakers put me in the same level as them I feel like sneakers like kind of like give us the opportunity to like be in the same level yeah. as the boys and sometimes even beat them. There is more doors opening for us and I like that the sneakers that we are getting now are ones that men want as well. Right. So you look at like the blue chills that just dropped or even the satin shatter boards or even a Lely's runs. Like every dude is trying to cop those sneakers and like those are ours. Recently as a couple years ago, we didn't have that, you know? Like you could only find like the sparkly, colorful, whatever. Yeah, it's like pink or purple or glitter or whatever it was. And they're like, oh, these are for the ladies. And like now they understand, like, no, like we have our colorway. Yeah, it's like we're 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 shopping the men's section. Like make something for us that the men need to shop in our section. And I feel like we're kind of in that situation. <laughs> What would you say to your younger self if she was buying her first pair of shoes today? I would tell my younger self to not worry about what other people think or what's like the current shoe that's like in style. Just go with what you love the most because at the end of the day, you're the only person that's really wearing them. I would say buy two pairs, one to rock and one to stock. Because if you stock it properly, now I'd be sitting on a gold mine. I think about the sneakers that I threw out, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh my god. Okay. I threw out everything when I moved out of my mom's house, and I regret it. Piggyback off that, just keep every shoe. Just, just keep every, every, keep every shoe. shoe. Just stop every until shoe. you're smart enough to know, like, okay, I really, I can do without it. In your opinion, what makes a sneaker fly? It's really the person wearing it. How they, how, yeah. how they dress it up. Yeah, yeah because there's nothing it. more annoying than someone having like a hot shoe and not knowing how to wear it, yeah. or like it not matching their personality, and you're just kind of like, what are we doing here, Sway? <laughs> <laughs> what defines a shoe that's for women? Like, people make these shoes that are for women. How do we identify that versus like any other shoe that we would just go and buy? Any pink is for women. Oh, pink, like glitter. silver, yeah, glitter. Metallics. 
right? Like, yeah. Like yeah, I can say metallic. Like really sponginess, yeah. Yeah. bounciness. Yeah. And there's there's nothing wrong with those things if they're done right. Like if they're yeah. done like in Absolutely. this like, and if they're done just to like throw it on a shoe and say, oh, this is for women, like you can feel it, it's whack. Right. But like, like a lady did it right. Yeah, yeah. lady did it great. Yeah. Even yeah. with the new sixes she's about to drop, mm -hmm. like those are entirely pink and I want them. And yeah. like yeah. normally, yeah. <laughs> normally I'm like, yeah. eh. But, yeah. but that's the thing, it's like you have to do it right. If you're doing it with a stylistic, you know, uh, method in mind, then people want it, it's hot. But if they're just doing it just to do it, just to say it's a woman's shoe, like we see through that. I think that brands are getting it wrong because they're designing shoes for women and not consulting women when they design them. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're having <laughs> men design them and men are like, oh, what would I want to see my daughter or girlfriend yeah. in? And it's like, bro, you got it totally wrong. Um, like, so consult more women, hire more women. A brand should walk into it thinking like, let me just design a sneak, like a unisex sneaker. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if, if, men, if women are already wearing men's sneakers, then what makes them think that men aren't willing to wear women's sneakers? So if they just walk into the mentality that they've had the entire time, instead of trying to condition their thoughts into, oh, let me do something for my daughter or my wife, like get those thoughts just out get rid and of just the gender roll out. Yeah, just yeah. eradicate it. it. Yeah. <laughs> British it companies do a pretty yeah. good job. Yeah, just yeah. get rid of the gender roll, and then everyone will be happy. Right. And I feel like we still have a we have a long way to go in this space, but at yeah. the same time, I do see change. Like mm -hmm. yeah. you mentioned yeah. the. Lately, and one thing for me is a woman's shoe in any shoe, I'm gonna be tied to it because of the story. Yeah. So the storytelling mm -hmm. in literally any area of business. But yeah, I feel like people are making a little bit of moves in the space, and I know a handful of women who are at Nike like designing like blazers and different things who right. that don't actually get the notoriety, but they're there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And right. every day they're like, okay, you know, what do you guys want? So I do see change, but I'm like, we need more. Thank you ladies so much for joining me today. Um, it was a great conversation talking about femininity, womanhood, sneaker culture, and just being the bosses that you all are. Yeah. Yeah.